sometimes maybe we want to assign it to a specific room right and <clears throat> in that situation what we can do it's actually here we see because if you remember bonsai beam it's a beam it's a beam authoring tool okay an, an ifc native authoring tool meaning that you it's not just a viewer you can also modify you can add you can alter you can model from scratch right so we choose this building story and we press on edit and now we see a drop down menu and from here we can for example reassign it to the second to the second floor or to the uh, third floor or to the ground floor okay or we see that this is a building story we see this this is a building something very strange I, I saw lately a lot of objects being assigned to the ifc building not the building story which is yeah really bad and uh, i've seen this from different tools uh, not only revit uh, even tecla so, but i guess it has something to do with uh, know-how yeah anyway so let's say we, you want to assign this i told you i, I put server room i assume that maybe uh, this this is a server right let's assume you just scroll down or you can also search here server is not here so i see space it's an ifc space server no it starts with f i don't know the name exactly no he is not so I will just cancel. Oh yeah, because the, uh, the the server room belongs to the floor, to the story one first. So I think that's why it's not showing here. I'm not sure, but I guess, yeah, because that's everything we see here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I assign it to the story one. But this is how you do it. And we see we get a message here, one elements assigned. And you see that right now, the building story is zero 